the InfoWars Nightly News. It's Friday, January 10th, 2014. I'm Leanne McAdoo, and here's a look at tonight's top stories. Tonight, politicians punish their opponents with our public resources. Are biometrics becoming the new hot item in consumer products? And we check in with the crew on the West Coast as they search for answers in the spiking radiation levels. All this and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. Cruz calls president dangerous and terrifying. You see, people say, oh, don't use flowery, dark rhetoric, tyrannical rhetoric. Uh, you know, everybody does that to demonize politicians. No, when the shoe fits, when it's true, it's true. And we've all, even myself, gotten comfortable living in the beginnings of serious tyranny. And we need to struggle and freak out. And we need to call the president out. And let me just tell you something. This is the type of stuff they blow your airplane up over. When you're a leader and well-spoken and intellectual, the establishment, I can guarantee you, is scared of Ted Cruz. Cruz calls president dangerous and terrifying. We, we have to have leadership that will call it like it is. Let me tell you something. You have to have no dirt on you, and you've got to have huevos the size of watermelons to do that in his leadership role from a credible position. This is the kind of person they fear, ladies and gentlemen. Ted Cruz, look at him. We need mayors. We need police chiefs. We need uh, grand jury heads. We need people that are in leadership positions, preachers that are listening right now who are afraid to lose their 501c3. You don't need a 501c3, idiot. You have the First Amendment. You're not a government institution. We need you to stop sitting there claiming you're just trying to save souls all day. You're going to save souls by exposing the huge demonic system around people. Not sitting up there acting authoritative and acting like a father figure to your so-called flock. You preachers need to speak out against what's going on. We need men and women to call the system out, to tell it like it is now. And, and, and that's really the epiphany. And Alex Jones is absolutely right. If the shoe fits, wear it. It's time to start calling it like it is. Just like Senator Ted Cruz, Obama is terrifying and he is dangerous. Obama has broken laws. Uh, he supports the unconstitutional NSA. He brags about killing people with drones. He outright lies to the American people and then he blames them for being stupid and misunderstanding his lies. He is absolutely dangerous and his, his hubris is what is so dangerous. He has a, a serious lack of irony. And what has the man done for this country? He doesn't care about us. He has wrecked our economy. 74,000 jobs were created in December, much below the, the 200,000 that analysts had expected. Labor participation is at a 35-year low, and the drop in the unemployment rate that they're uh, talking about, it's just a result of many Americans who have given up looking for work altogether. Meanwhile, this from a president who gave his weekly address from his Hawaiian vacation. In that address, he blamed the Republicans for going home for the holidays rather than voting to extend those jobless benefits. I mean, serious lack of irony, not to mention the fact that the Democrats went home as well but it's not the president's job to bring the country together. It's just his job to continue to play this left-right paradigm and divide us even further. And his signature achievement, while he's been in office, it's only going to further derail our economy. According to the Richmond Federal Reserve President Jeffrey Lacker, he told Reuters today that, I think the Affordable Care Act is something that we are watching very closely because it's something that could well have a substantial economic impact. And he added that he expects a lot of turmoil in the healthcare industry. Now, some analysts have warned that Obamacare represents a neutron bomb that will decimate the U.S. economy. So what does that mean? It means that the Fed is going to just continue to crank up the printing press in order to prolong this illusion of economic recovery. It's, it's insane there. there. There is no sense of reality there in D.C. And so Cruz is absolutely right to call it like it is. Obama is dangerous. He is a terrifying man. And he is a bully. 
the facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield formulation, fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com.